Yeah, and all wind is, it's just a transport of air, right? From mm -hmm. an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure. And uh, this tends to happen pretty much all the time uh, in the upper atmosphere. So we have wind with high pressure, it, it moves clockwise, right? So and many times, especially, you know, on in, in the weather center, we often talk about the winds and where they're moving. It's all because of where that center of high pressure is. It moves uh, clockwise, but with low pressure, it moves counterclockwise. And Britta, uh, what we don't really like is when these two systems start butting up against one another. Because <laughs> yeah. that's It's like when, having two siblings in one room. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's when you start to get uh, some of those higher winds. And we saw this happen with the nor'easter. Yes, and this is what we call a tight pressure gradient, kind of a scientific term. What it boils down to is the closer the areas of high pressure and low pressure are, the stronger the wind is. Wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure, and the closer they are, the more impressive the wind gust you have to deal with. Yeah, think about you driving down the highway, right? And you get a, a, a trucker that just speeds right past you and you feel that, you <laughs> you're know, you're, and you're like, what's well. going on? That's exactly what's pretty much happening in the upper uh, atmosphere. So whenever we have wind alerts, a lot of times uh, we get a lot of questions about what exactly that means. But basically what you need to do whenever you have windy conditions is you need to pretty much tie down or bring inside some of those looser objects. So we're talking about uh, your lawn furniture. We're talking about those grills. You don't want Halloween any of those outside, all right? Oh, yeah. Some <laughs> yeah, of the it's things that, that time you of year where enjoy. You might have a few <laughs> ghosts and ghouls in your trees. They might end up in the next door neighbor's yard today it's if you're living in It's kind of funny, though, to always City. see the ghosts end up down the street. Yeah, they're or, actually <laughs> flying. Adds to the scenery, <laughs> right? a little scary. Uh, <laughs> one of the other things that you always want to do as well is charge uh, your cell phones and any other electronic devices that you have, particularly during these high weather events, because typically, you may not know when you're going to get power back. And we're finding that, you know, in places like Massachusetts, w when that nor'easter went through, I mean, it could be a couple of days until power is restored. Yeah, and you spent a lot of time in the Cape area, and you were telling me how sometimes it can take three or four days before we can really recover from these nor'easters with the wind. So it's a little bit of slow go out there, uh, but we'll get you through it and get ready for that breezy day in the plains.